Lane just grew up in the company. There was never a separation between personal life and professional life. It just, it just was one big experience for him as it was for me. I wanted to work with my dad so badly that I pretended like my lunchbox was a briefcase. And uh, so it was kind of a, a joke in our family that there's Lane going to work with his briefcase. There was no internet, so yeah. We put labels on the envelopes and, and stuffed them and printed them and Xeroxed them and took them to the post office at the airport and all that kind of stuff. And he started doing that literally when he was six years old. And I paid him, you know, I, he started to have a compensation for doing it. I wanted to make it very real for him. I also started to take him on the road with me. When I would go to conferences, I spoke at a lot of conferences in the industry, in Chicago, in New York, in California. And uh, I took him with me, and he was like a fly on the wall. So uh, from a very early age, he started to hear what was going on, learn what was going on, get to know the people. Throughout the remaining time of the 2000s, uh, Lane continued to be involved in, in pretty much every aspect of the company, uh, helping to further refine the organization. And, you know, those kinds of refinements, you can see what what has it helped to accomplish uh, in terms of meeting the customer's needs and in terms of, of helping the revenue of the company and, and the, all those types of things. He was very instrumental in, in working to think about that and to fashion it and to help to uh, bring them about. Throughout all this time, Lane has been always extremely passionate about Vantage Point, as definitely as much as I've been, and maybe even more so. Um, and he certainly has inherited my entrepreneurial uh, genetic, uh, whatever you want to call it. So now I'm 70. I started the business when I was 30. 40 years have gone by. Lane is nearly 40. We're at a good juncture right now in, in the history of the company, and uh, I want to commemorate that. So uh, why don't you come up here, Lane? This is a dictionary that I have been using personally since the late 60s. So this is about what, 50, 50 some odd years old? It's, it's falling apart as you can see. <laughs> but not from abuse, from excessive use. And interestingly, because I have such a fondness for this dictionary, because I happen to love languages, um, I have, I've written some uh, things in here over the years. Like, and I'll read them to you. First one was written on June 13, 2003. It says, this is a fantastic dictionary which I have used extensively since around 1970 and have worn it out from use. Do not throw this away. Keep it in the family and use it with enjoyment and excitement as you expand your command over the English language. And it's signed by me. That was 2003. <clears throat> then in 2012, I updated it. As, <laughs> because that was, that was kind of a generic thing to the whole family, you know. I wanted to be more specific in 2012, so on, on August 8th, 2012, I said, I hereby bequeath this dictionary to my son, Lane. <laughs> okay? Uh, just recently, in fact, very recently, today, uh, I made my third writings into this dictionary, I'm further refining my be bequeathment. And it says, April 6, 2018, I am entrusting this family heirloom to Lane today in recognition of his ascendancy to his position as president. I'll be very brief, please. First of all, thank you, I love you. Um, I love the company, I love all of you, and um, I'm looking forward to having more success with all of you, and um, today is a very memorable day for me, obviously, and um, I'm glad to have shared it with all of you, so thank you.